Welcome to the home to the first family of bourbon. This is the James B. Bean Distilling Company, probably one of the most identifiable brands in the world, and it is housed and homed right here in Bullitt County. I'm with Fred No, the seventh generation master distiller here at the American Outpost. And Fred, this outpost is just something about when you walk in, you really want it to say something about family first. Absolutely. Yeah. It's where we've been since Prohibition. You know, Jim Beam started this distillery after Prohibition, and we've been here ever since. And so what kind of is the experience like when you step into the American Outpost? It's kind of the first big building that you see here on the campus. Well, you know, folks come in for their tour. They register right here at the front desk, you know, and they can wait around for a little bit, you know, shop if you like, get on your tour. Browse, got a little swag, have a few bottles you can pick. Say there's a couple bottles back there that you can pick oh, out. Oh, yeah, that's very popular now. Folks can come here and buy bottles of bourbon. Yeah. If I'm around, I'll sign them for them. Freddie, my son, if he's around, we'll sign bottles, have a lot of fun, tell stories. It's all fun. That's always like the coolest thing I think about visiting here is that you and Freddie, your son, eighth generation master distiller, are always like so open about meeting with people well right like it's just not this name in the sky you're not you're not the mighty oz like someplace you all are really here interacting with folks on the tour oh yeah my office is very close i stroll down here and meet people you know groups that come in customers that come in to buy barrels i try to make a point to come say hello thank them for their support and there's always other visitors around so you can shake hands take pictures you really want people to know who you all are oh yeah you know we're a family that you know, I was born and raised right up the road in Barstown. But the distillery, I was here when I was a child growing up. I mean, there's a picture of Carl Beam. He lived in the Beam house. Baker Beam lived in the Beam house right here on campus. And it's where Baker actually grew up. And it's pretty wild, you know, that the family truly lived here while making the bourbon. And you all recreated kind of this campus around that. You feel like you're really stepping outside somebody's home. Right? And then going to take a step down to kind of make sure that the bottling and the distilling process is going well. You right. really feel like you're you're peeking in on your life here. Oh, yeah. I think it's cool to be able to open the doors and let people see, you know, behind the curtain. I mean, we got nothing to hide. We'd like to show where we've been, where we're going to go. We'll still be here long into the future. The tours here are really uh, unique and cool, too, because you get to see every step of the process, right? Oh, yeah. All the way from the very first, you know, there's even a display down there with an old Cadillac that shows like Jim Beam used to take the family yeast home uh, you know make sure nothing happened to it and you actually have an old Cadillac with a jug in the front seat protect the secret recipe protect the secret of the secret recipe yes ma'am you know you go through the bottling you can bottle your own bottle of Knob Creek put your thumbprint in the wax take it from here and take it home you know it gives you a story to tell about your visit here to you know to the James B. Beam distilling company and they get to you can try all those I mean the Jim Beam, Knob Creek, Basil Hayden. You have Freddie's little book that is doing really well. They can see an aspect of all those brands. Yeah, at the end of the tour, you actually get to taste some of the brands and physically you can take a little taste. And if you like it, you can purchase a bottle. Or, you know, we want people to have an experience that they remember and they'll come back. A lot of times we have repeat visitors. Well, I was here last year. I want to see what's going on this year. I think that's what it's all about. It's cool. It started with family. It continues with family. The next venture we're going to step into is another great idea that it's not just about seeing the bottling process and, and seeing the brand evolve, but we all get hungry here, right? Absolutely. And you figured out a way to help us with that, too. Oh, yeah. We got we got your covered card. All right. We are going to step into the kitchen table at the James B. Bean Distilling Company. Just a couple of steps away from the American Outpost is the kitchen table at the James V. Bean Distilling Company. And this has what been here for, what, three years now? Yep. Yeah, and you guys wanted to add that offering of you're going to get hungry. So let right. it serve you a great meal and an even better drink. Yeah, I mean, people can stop here and maybe have a little bite before their tour. Yeah. Or even after the tour, come up here and have a little bite to eat, have a nice cocktail, and enjoy their stay here in the, at the James V. Bean Distilling Company. And you've got an incredible chef here with you and just seasonal entrees. You have your traditional favorites, but things that seasonally change, I feel like they really celebrate Kentucky and who you are. Oh, yeah. Actually, the chefs talk to Freddie and myself. What are things that you and your dad like? What are things that your family always ate? I mean, there's things on the menu that we all have eaten forever, like pimento cheese was something my mother used to make a lot and we had at the house. 
you know, and then all the smoked meat because Freddie likes the smoke on the smoker. Yeah. You know, the pizza that they do here, they actually use the yeast. It was the same yeast that we used to make the bourbon. It all ties back to the family and the production of our products here right here in Claremont. And there's even a family table that you can request to sit at. Oh, yeah. yeah over in the corner. That's where we named it for the kitchen table and the house I live in, Jim Beam's old table that sits right in the kitchen, a round table where Dan held court for many years. Uh, I still kind of sit there every morning. And, you know, it's just uh, where everybody gathers. You know, everybody gathers at their kitchen table at their house. You know, you don't always go in the living room and sit out. But that's why we do it. And we've got the kitchen table here, pictures of the family, you know, and it's all around. It's uh, it's all about coming here as a friend and leaving his family. I mean, that's where, you know, we, people come and enjoy themselves. That's what it's all about. We treat everybody like we don't be treated ourselves. We were coming to your house. And you've added all these cool events to enjoy here at the kitchen table that are just beyond coming for lunch and dinner. Like, there's a whole experience that you can oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. part us here. The chefs, you know, work with Freddie and myself. And once a month, we have a Claremont Supper Club. And then actually once a month in the afternoons, we have a behind the bean. We will get a tour and get to hang out and listen to Freddie and myself tell stories and maybe uh, might have a taste or two of bourbon. A lot of tastings happen over here. Always, yeah. you know, and, and we, even the supper clubs, you know, the cocktails are always based on the spirit that we're talking about that day, whether it's Freddie's release of Little Book or release of my dad's bourbon bookers. You know, and it's good because, you know, Baker Beam, our cousin, who lives right down the road, he comes up and he hangs out. We go down and sign bottles after the event. People can take pictures and hang out and really talk to us. Your cocktail menu here is really something else, too, right? Of course, you can get all your favorites that you know and love, but your team here really works hard to create drinks that are just seasonally on point. It's amazing what the, you know, Haley and the team here do. I mean, they come up with something new every time I come in or try this. Yeah. I never had many complaints yet, so it's all been good. Yeah. We actually have a sample here. Right. Right? Yeah. We have See, to. Look us up. We got the Holy Moly. Holy Moly. Which she actually won the event at the Bourbon Classic with this drink. You all aren't and, playing. And you've got a brand new one. It's got this smoked bitters that she makes here at the house. You know, it's house-made bitters with our distillate that's, you know, starting out. Fred, we had so much fun visiting and, and getting to understand a little bit more about the process and the family. So thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. Okay. You're welcome anytime. You know that. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we gotta try this. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> it's excellent. Hey, to get started on your next adventure here at the campus, just go to visit thekitchentable.com to eat here at the kitchen table or beandistilling.com to schedule your tour.